Uh, I think we're really excited for it. I think our, at least for me, our regular season ended um, after Indiana. Uh, this is a huge game for us every year. It makes or breaks our season. Um, regardless of what you've done before it, it, it really makes makes or breaks it. So, um, and having it be our last game as seniors, uh, or last uh, team up north game as seniors, it's going to be it's going to be a great one to go out on. When you see those helmets for the first time, and what goes through your mind when you see them come in? And... Um, for me, it's just I'm just thinking, all right, it's time to go now, because wherever whether we go there or they come here, it's just. When you actually see the opposing team all suited up, I'm sure they're going to be yelling and stuff and stamping their feet. I don't know, but you just you know it's time to go and it's time to get into that mindset that you need to be in to play um, a hard-nosed football game. Did you, like, say it's time did you ever have to run scout team? Hmm? Did you to ever have to run scout team here this no. week? This week? No, I didn't. Like you guys obviously had the fight with Michigan last year. What has Coach Meyer said to you guys about that or trying to avoid that this year? Said, so don't do it again. Uh, I mean, we we lost, I think, three guys in that game, and then we lost Marcus Hall for the Big Ten Championship because of um, raging emotions. And the biggest thing is to make sure that uh, you play with emotion, but you don't let that trickle over and you throw a punch and um, kind of jeopardize your teammates. So uh, we have to learn how to control that kind of stuff, channel that emotion uh, that goes into this game because everyone wants to be in the next highlight video fighting somebody, but that doesn't help anybody. That just... I don't know, it's, it's a fake tough guy thing. How, fi how fine is that line, though, of like wanting to play with intensity in an intense game and not letting it spill over? Is that a, a difficult thing to do, or should it not be that difficult? Honestly, you kind of you toe that line every game. Every game you play, if you're trying to play with a lot of intensity, a lot of anger, aggression, anything, it's a, it's a rough sport. Um, guys are going to be jawing back and forth. You have to know uh, what the limits are and what's worth doing and what's not worth doing. So sometimes you can get away with doing stuff between the whistles and guys go for it. but. Um, when you start just jawing at someone and then you throw a punch, you, that's just, it's not really well thought out. I mean, you know you're going to get kicked out of the game. You know you're probably going to miss another game after that. So it's just knowing what you can and can get away, as you can saw, and can't get away with. As you saw that, though, did you feel like Dontre Wilson got ambushed in that game? I didn't even see it go on. You I didn't. Said? No, I didn't see it happen. Um, I wasn't really too worried about it. I'm really focused in on game time. Um, mm -hmm. I think it was Dontre and Marcus and someone else. Um, who got kicked out, and then they lost one of their better players. Um, so it's just, for me, it was just something stupid. You kind of almost expect it just because of the nature of the game. Um, I don't know. For me, it's just kind of like, whatever, we need to go win this game. Is it weird at all? I mean, those things are in the highlight videos, though, right? I mean, yeah. Like, whether it's the old ones, or I don't know, Markles will probably be in the highlight videos for 50 years. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of, that kind of was funny to me. Um, when it happened, I was kind of like, well, what do you expect? We just watch this highlight video of Ohio State team of North fights for the past week on repeat with this it's time for war showing or playing the whole time so I mean obviously kids want to fight and that's just how it is but um, so it, it didn't necessarily surprise me because uh, especially that Dontre did it because he's a young guy um, Marcus Hall plays with a lot of passion so once again doesn't really surprise you that it, it would be like those guys um, it's not, uh, that fight's not in the new video is it Oh, I don't. I don't. I haven't looked at it. I haven't seen it yet, or I haven't seen that part yet. Okay. The defense this year. I mean, last year Michigan scored 41 on you guys. Kind of exposed what became big problems. Where do you feel the defense is right now? I mean, I, I really feel like people aren't going to understand this, but I think our defense is a complete defense. Um, the only thing that kills us are these big plays or mental mistakes. For the past couple weeks, we've really not gotten grinded down by passes. We haven't gotten grinded down by the run. People have gotten big plays on us, and that just that simply comes from uh, mental just lapses. Guys not being in the right place, guys not fitting the right gap, um, something like that. It's not from guys getting beat or anything like that. It, guys are doing their job, and they're doing their job well. Just uh, got to be more consistent. I mean, I think last week we had four plays, uh, I think three run, one pass, that just, that would just make us look like I don't know, like Indiana was running all over us and throwing the ball all over us, but you break it down, I think they had uh, six three and outs in like uh, between the third and fourth quarter. And I mean, they played 16 series. They're going to have chance after chance, and you give Tevin Coleman that 
that ball again and again. The guy's a playmaker. He's an elite running back. Uh, he's going to make some plays. But I think our, I'm really excited about our defense. Can you compare how you feel about the defense now compared to last year? Last year, we had some issues um, in the secondary. Uh, we were inconsistent on the D-line, um, inconsistent in the linebacker play. So I think this year is just so much more uh, consistent, so much more all around. I think we're more together than we were last year. Just guys play for each other. Guys support each other. There's no negativity on the sideline. I think all around we're a much better defense. Mike, you look Michael, at this team. When you look at this team, it's, they're not bowl eligible yet. When you turn on the film, what do you see that says to you this is a good team that you need to be worried about? They got a big O line, um, just some some big guys that'll play hard. They've got a lot of talent across the board at their skill positions. Uh, so I don't know what has made them lose. I don't know if their defense is something different because I don't get to watch film on them. But they have all of the makings of a great team, but for some reason they've lost a lot. Um, and when you see that kind of stuff, it takes you back to years like last year, years like my freshman year. Well, they were really good my freshman year. But years like last year where they don't have the best record, but they have all of the talent to be a great team when they choose to be. And uh, they always choose to be a great team when they play us. Mike, so. talking about your freshman year, last three years you guys have been flying high going into the Michigan game, having mm -hmm. great seasons. Your freshman year, it wasn't that way. What's the difference Michigan week when you're having a great year versus maybe when you're going in, I don't know, maybe thinking that if you beat Michigan you can sort of save your season? Um, I honestly don't remember <clears throat> my freshman year that much. Uh, going into it though, these past three years, it's just, I think it's like if you want to get to where you want to be, you have to take care of this team and they're going to do everything they can to stop you from accomplishing what you want to accomplish. So it almost increases our aggression towards them because we understand that they want so badly to ruin our season and uh, we just can't allow that to happen. And we already want to beat them really badly, but now it just raises the stakes. There's no, you can't like mess around with them like we did last year. You have to go out there and you got to prove your point. Michael, you know, Coach Meyer said that uh, this, this senior class, uh, leadership wise and everything else, it's going to be decided in the next two games where you guys kind of go down in history, at least in his, his, his history book. Is that fair? I mean, uh, do, you, do you sense that too, that uh, it's right in front of you guys to make or break your mark? I mean, I guess you can decide, decide any, uh, any group of leaders based on their resume. Um, I think the leadership on this team in the senior class is uh, very good. That's my personal opinion because I'm part of it. But uh, I think that guys are really starting to respond to us. Um, we've taken a more positive approach, but we know how to get after guys when we need to. Uh, but at the same time, nobody here has ever won a, champ, a Big Ten championship or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So it would be very important as the leaders to be able to rally a lot of these young players that have been contributing. Um, and then all the older players and, and come out on top with a Big Ten championship and maybe more. Mike, in Michael. addition to everything that everybody's got writing on this, you guys obviously have a lot of writing on it because your record, college football playoff rankings and all that stuff. They've got all this swirling around them about the future of their coach. Does that, does that affect players during a game like this, or is this something that once it gets to kick off, then you're kind of you, – you're – brain takes over and you follow a game plan and you do what you're supposed to do or is that does it have an impact on people uh, I don't really know about their coaching situation but um, I know that once you're in the game it's only about the game you're not mid game up seven points you're like okay well now we're going to the Big Ten Championship or down seven points and you're like oh well we're out it's it's all about that team and taking care of business with that team and if you're up you want to be up more if you're down you want to uh, turn the tables pretty quick. So, um, but that, I feel like that's how it should be with any game. Um, you need to you need to make sure that you're focused on what's going on now. If you're off thinking about something else mid game, things aren't going to turn out well you for said you. You don't remember very much about freshmen, mm -hmm. for what you were thinking before that. But I mean, it's not the same situation, but somewhat a similar situation because with Coach Fickle, I'm just wondering. Yeah. Your recollection at all about that thinking, in addition to winning the game. We also have this out there, too. Yeah, it might have been different for the seniors. Um, with me, it was just I'm trying to, I'm trying not to look too bad. I'm trying to go <laughs> make some plays. I remember getting juked out a couple times by Devin Gardner, which was horrible. Um, 
but it was just mostly just try to make, get my assignments, and if I was given the opportunity uh, to go in there, just to make the most of it. Mike, with that said, already... Mike, um, you know, they need to beat you guys to get bowl eligible. How desperate will they be? And, you know, obviously you would think they'd want to play hard if, it, if this was their coach's last game. Yeah, I mean, you want you, you just want to uh, – the stakes are raised for both sides. If we want to go where we want to go, we have to beat them. If they want to make it to a bowl, they have to beat us. And then it's just a classic rivalry. So um, there are so many different reasons to play each game, there, and this one always has more. Uh, so it's going to be exciting. It's going to be – it's not going to be some just 11 and one team versus whatever, five and – five or five and six, whatever they are. It's going to be um, team up north versus Ohio State like it is every year. Fact, you guys are already questions. in the Big Ten championship game. Does that make it easier to focus on this game, or does that make it harder because maybe you lose a little bit of your edge? I don't think it changes anything. Um, I think if you're taking each game one at a time like you should, then it doesn't change anything. This is another game, and this is the team up north game, and we got to take care of that. Uh, there might be... Hmm? Last question. Oh, I've seen. Over, over the course of your career here, what have you seen from yourself personally? Oh, I think I've grown as a person. Um, I don't know. Technique-wise, we've been able to. I've been able to learn from a lot of different coaches. Uh, I've gotten closer with my teammates over the years, and then um, just able to more, mature more. Been been through different stuff uh, with these coaching changes and everything like that, and injuries. So just able to grow a little bit. Mike, why was last year's game so close? Because <clears throat> we didn't, because <clears throat> we didn't play well and they played well. I mean, it, there's not a lot of magic formulas. They, they were able to screen us and do a bunch of different things. They were all functioning well. There, uh, Devin Gardner probably had his best game I'd seen on film. <laughs> and then we just we weren't getting it done on defense. Our, our offense was rolling, but we just weren't getting it done. Was there any Mike, moment in that game when y'all were when you felt stunned by how they were playing? You understand what I mean? They. Kind of like this year, they weren't very good going into that game. Mm -hmm. was, there, was there a moment when you kind of were sitting back going, what's going on here? It was just, it was just really annoying because it felt like every play that they got was a trick play or a screen or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it was annoying that we couldn't feel it, and it was annoying that we couldn't redirect and get it. And it was annoying that they kept doing the plays, like just instead of just trying to run it down our throats, and then we would have stopped them. And it just they actually wanted to win the game, and that was annoying. So. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's just it, I just remember sitting on the sideline being upset the whole time because just we need to stop them and they. It's hard to just rush these guys and do all this stuff when you're worrying about Devin Gardner rolling out for a 40-yard run or him rushing this way, turn around and tossing off his back foot for an 80-yard screen. So yeah. I was just annoyed. I was just you're still annoyed, annoyed with it. Yeah, I'm still annoyed. I kind of hold on to some of those all sometimes. Right, it's time to cut him off. He's annoyed. <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> you guys will start asking some crazy stuff.